What the fuck is up? Higher point of view here. It is your West Coast Packer backer. Hey, here to discuss the rookies, man. Week two, draft and develop. You know, my new series. I hope y'all like it. We, 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 we talking about all the rooks. What they doing on a week to week basis. Now, listen. I'm just going on a week-to-week basis, y'all. So if I say some of the same shit, that just means it's a good thing, you know? If I say Christian Watson, week one, is a willing blocker, and then week two, I say the same thing, he's a willing blocker, that should give you guys more confidence in, you know, what he can do later on. You know, I'm not trying to be repetitive. I'm looking at every game in its own situation, man. So if I end up being repetitive on the shit, I apologize, but I'm... I'm really just looking at game by game. Now, if come week 15, game by game, I done already said motherfuckers is a winning blocker or his route running is crisp, that means that shows us more than what he brings to the table. So uh, week two, Packers at home against the Bears. Let me break down the rookies. Let me tell y'all what the fuck I seen. You know what I'm saying? And uh, again, I'm doing this in the order of that they was drafted, so it ain't never going to be no confusion. So we're going to start off with our first pick, motherfucking Quay Walker, y'all. Hey, impressive, Quay. Same shit, bro. Hey, at this point, I'm going to call Quay 007. Why? Because he's an agent, bro. He's a spy, bro. First, first drive, Justin Fields and them came down there, ran down there. Justin Fields ran in for a touchdown. Quay's, uh, his, uh, his assignment was a running back on that play when, when, when Justin Fields ran in for that touchdown on their first drive. But what do we do the second drive? We said, all right, Quay, Quay, you have to be a spy. So when y'all hear me saying double O or double O seven, I'm talking about motherfucking Quay Walker, bro. He, he, hey, athletic ability to become a spy, bro. You don't want to have Blake Martinez as no spy, you know? Certain players could do certain things. And Quay, he can do so much. And again, second second game in a row. I'm going to admit, bro. Quay had a better game than Devondre Campbell. The boy he's next to, man. The all-pro that he's next to. Now, I think Devondre is getting used to having a young buck next to him. You know, last year he kind of carried the load himself, himself. And, you know, he had help with, with Barnes. But, again, that's not like at the level of Quay. So, we're going to have to give Quay his credit, y'all. Play, rec- play recognition, a lot better. You know, again, let's be honest. It might be against a lesser opponent in Chicago, you know, but shit, Minnesota got their ass whooped this, this week too. So, you know, we don't know what Minnesota is yet. It's only two games into the season. It's early. Every four games, we'll, we'll be able to get a, you know, at least get some film on people, what they do good, what they don't do good, you know. That's when we could be critical. We need more games to happen. There's only been two games, y'all. But uh, fucking Quay Walker, I don't know if it's because of it's a lesser opponent, but this game, play recognition, came a lot sooner. A couple times in Minnesota, you know, I can just see it, bro. As a linebacker, like, when you click and say, oh, this is what happened, and you go and fire in, like, it's undeniable. So there was a few times, more times than not in Minnesota where, you know, he was just a step late. And it's just because it's processing his brain. This game, as soon as he seen what was going on, he went for it. Now, it might have been a little easier because the opponent in Chicago, like I said, and, you know, they're not a passing team. If anything, Chicago's going to be a running team. So, he, again, it's just progression from last week. He picked up on his play recognition, which is good. Trust your eyes, bro. If you've seen it on film two, three times this way, and they told you this is going to happen, when you see it in person, don't freeze up. Hey, you've seen everything that they said you was going to see, so you now just got to finish it. If you don't finish it, it's on them. You can say, Coach, what you said was, in this situation, when this player does this, I need to do this. I did exactly that. They went the other way with it. You're right in that case. So just be coachable. Hey, even if they're wrong, be coachable. Because if you do the wrong thing, you can say, Coach, that's what you told me to do. But uh, I'm glad that first drive, they came down there and ran that shit like like it was nothing. Came and scored. Justin Fields ran in for a touchdown. Second drive, we like, quick way. You're going to be that spy. You 007. James Bond, motherfucker. Like, 
You a spy now, bro. Third and goal. Just same thing, same situation. They, they could get 14. They could get 14 now instead of 10. They say, you know what? We're going to go with Justin. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to have him run and do basically the same thing. No, nah, we got Quay Quay as a motherfucking spy now. And Quay didn't run in and stop that third down. And then they had to do a fourth down after that, which we got the goal line stop. Hey, that was all because of Quay, man. Hey, he has the speed, sideline to sideline speed to, to to just go and do it, bro. This guy is a weapon. So, hey, I'm calling y'all out, too. Y'all like to call me out. I've been called out on, on spelling shit wrong. I spelled the Chiefs like I spelled the Chefs. Even though when I play with my Chiefs friends, I, I call them the Chefs. I don't call them the Chiefs. So, I don't know if that was an auto text problem or what. But, you know, in one of my videos, I spelled wrong Chiefs. You know, somebody corrected me. Shout out to Jay Robbins. There was another time a motherfucker corrected me about Patrick Taylor. The reason why I call him the great Patrick Taylor is because one of the subs, I, I you know, I was rushing. I was doing my videos, doing my thing. But then I was like, you know what? I was comparing him to A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones as far as, you know, what they can do. We know Aaron Jones can catch and, and run out of the backfield. We know A.J. can do the same thing. So when I said Patrick Taylor was a one-trick pony, I didn't literally mean like that all he could do is run, but I meant that he can't do shit to the level as A.J. Dillon and, and, and Aaron Jones could do. But, you know, hey, sub called me out on that shit. A sub called me out on that shit and said, uh, hey, Patrick Taylor's not a one-trick pony. He did this, that, and third in college, and he's a good player. And I do think he's a good player because whenever he was given an opportunity with the Packers, he came in and did this thing. But again, I'm okay. I stand to be corrected with y'all, and I love it, bro. Because again, at the end of the day, we all just want the Packers to what? To win. I don't give a fuck what it is. Packer fans got disagreements within each other, but it shouldn't be any friendly fire. Hey, if you tell me I need to look at this, I might say, you know what? Let me do. Let, let me go look at Patrick Taylor. Let me go look at his, his college family. Let me go look at what he's all about. Oh, he's not a one-trick pony. You know, hey, this is all for us to be educated on each other. So, you know, again... This is a great series that I love. We're going to see these rookies week-to-week -week basis and see what they do. But for them to put all this on Quay's plate so early, that means that he picked the shit up early. He's a, he's a student of the game. For them to have all this faith in him shows that he has the sideline the sideline ability. He can do everything. He can guard a fucking tight end or receiver in some cases. Not Justin Jefferson, but some receivers in some cases, Quay could get out there and do something. So, Quay, great fucking game, you know. You're always around the ball. Your play recognition, your your pursuit is just off the motherfucking chain, bro. I give it to you. Now, if I'm going to critique you, bro, obviously, block shedding, you got to do a little better job. These are offensive linemen, probably twice your size. Even though you're a big, you're a big, bro. You moving out there, bro. 6'4", 250, like, like, you really moving out there. I'm so excited about you. And, hey, yeah, there was a few people who told me. Oh, we could have got Quay another time. We should have got this guy instead. Oh, my God. I'm so satisfied with Quay so far. And it's only two weeks into it. You know, even last year with his late play recognition, you could see him thinking a little too much even when the ball is snapped. He still got up in there because he got the speed and athletic ability to do what the fuck he need to do. So, hey, shout out to Goody for this fucking great-ass pick. But, again, if I'm going to critique you, bro, you got shed them. You got shed them blocks, man. Hey, a center or a guard might get up on your ass, bro. You gonna have to use them hands. Don't just let them grab you in between the shoulder pads and drive you. You gotta use your hands to get them off of you. Have your move that you want to do already before you do that shit. So when you do it on them, it'll be just fast and quick because you know uh, the O line kind of got their hands on you a little bit this game, and you were prevented from making a few plays that you could have made. Had about six or seven tackles, still good. You still did things in the areas I, I, I really needed you to. Like a third and short, you stopped Justin Fields. Come on now. That turned into us turning the ball over, bro. So fucking good, good job on that, Quay. But, hey, block shedding and missed tackles, bro. Now, again, let's give credit to the Bears and their fucking very good running backs. Montgomery and fucking number 24. Herbert, I think his name is. Both fucking shifty ass Shake you out your draws kind of backs. And y'all got shook out a couple times. So, again, rookie, 
benefit of the doubt, I'm going to be starting, I'm going to start getting really critical around week six for y'all motherfuckers. So, uh, you even got doubled on a play by linemen, bro. You know, one of the tight end on you got doubled by two offensive linemen one time, bro. You were close enough to the line. These, it was a center and a guard. I think they both had their hands on you at the same time, bro. You got doubled by two old linemen. That shows that you are a fucking problem. Continue to do what you do, Quay. You 007 to me now. <laughs> hey, whenever I say 007, y'all, I'm talking about Quay Walker, man. So just, just, and hopefully if y'all don't see this video, y'all get what I'm talking about when I say 007. Because he spied on Justin Fields, bro. That that takes a lot, bro. To pick one person in defense and say, hey, this guy's a running quarterback. He's going to get out anytime you be the spy. That boy Quay was ready, bro. Every time that motherfucker ran the ball, after that first drive, you could just see Quay's eyes. He was just waiting for him. And Quay is real disciplined with his assignments, bro. Sometimes shit go, could go off schedule on the offense, and Quay would still stick to his assignment, like guarding the running back. There's a few times, which I'm going to talk about in later videos, where Quay guarded a running back so good that I know the quarterback was going to go to him, but he had to pick a second option, and then the second option wasn't as good as an option. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to tell you all about that. Again, this film is dangerous, bro. I'll be, I done fell asleep the past two days watching this goddamn film. And goddamn NFL, y'all take so long to put out the All-22. Like, it seemed like last year, y'all used to put that shit out a lot faster. It seemed like now, y'all motherfuckers just want the analysts to get the shit first. Y'all give it to them first before you give it to us? I need to see the film, man. Release that shit right after the game. I don't care. I know it's a lot of different camera angles and it probably take... It shouldn't take no more than an hour or two after the game for y'all to get the shit together. We shouldn't be getting that shit the second day. But anyway... I digress on that, but Quay, great job. Continue to do what the fuck you been doing, bro. M fucking impressive, yo. Again, you missed some tackles that you was right there. God damn it. At least you were right there. There's other times where a motherfucker could be not right there and, and just miss out on the tackle. You know what I'm saying? You were right there and you missed out on the tackle. Maybe you was over aggressive. Maybe you just, your speed was too fast and you lost momentum, but you missed a few tackles right in the hole, bro. Where it could have been a negative play. You know what I'm saying? And he ended up getting four or five and somebody else got him. But I forgive you for that. I won't get really critical on you rookies till about after week six. I think that's enough time. You know, first of all, we go through the shit by quarters. When it used to be 16 games, I used to just just look at the, 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 the season by quarters. First four, second four, third four, fourth four. You know what I'm saying? You got to gotta do that. But uh, I ain't going to get real critical to y'all on you guys to after week six. So I'm done with you, Quay. Good fucking job. We're going to go to Christian Watson. You know, I told y'all I was doing this shit in the draft, you know, the way they were drafted. But, hey, Devontae Wyatt got zero snaps. Hey, y'all tell me. I watched the whole game like twice or three times by now. I didn't see Wyatt at all, you know. Now, the defense was only on the field for about 20 minutes, which is amazing, which is great ball control, which is great, you know, time of possession. So that's probably why the JJs and the Devontae Wyatt didn't get along. So, hey. Stay strong, y'all. Hey, you understood. Hey, you you both got in on the first game, but you didn't get in on this game. Hey, it's going to be different every game. So I hope y'all didn't think y'all had a spot that was solidified, and I hope you guys keep working harder. Devontae Wyatt and Quay Walk and, and um, JJ, okay? JJ, you were the third rusher on, on week one, okay? That's cool. You know, you didn't get in at all this time. And uh, De Devontae Wyatt, you got in a few times. You got to show your birds. You got to actually show yourself, you know, and show the world that you are a factor, you know, and that you could contribute this year early and that you're going to be a great player later on. But, uh, hey, just know this is a lesson for you guys. You ain't going to get in every game. You might not. So every game you get in, take advantage of every opportunity. But I didn't see a sighting of fucking... Uh, uh, Devontae Wyatt or fucking JJ. So that means we're going to move on to Christian Watson. Second round pick. Just let him touch the ball, man. Just let him touch the ball. You know, it was only three times. But again, these are rookies, bro. I I'll take a three, three touch game right now from Christian Watson. At least he's being involved. But another thing he's being involved at that people are probably not seeing is the jet sweep motion. It's not just about when he gets the ball. So he did get the ball one time on the jet sweep. This game, what did he do? We got a first down. So is that a bad thing? Are y'all mad at that? The only jet sweep that this nigga took, he got a first down. So that's a success. Secondly, it's a setup. 
It's a fake setup because there's many times where Christian Watson goes in on a fake jet sweep where he doesn't get the ball. Well, guess what? One of the longest runs from the game was a fake jet sweep to Christian Watson, and then they gave it to Aaron Jones, okay? One of the critical first games, first downs in the game was the, the fake going to Christian Watson and then A.J. Dillon getting the ball and running for a first down, okay? One of Sammy Watkins' passes that he caught was off of a Christian Watson fake jet sweep. So the jet sweep is going to be there. I'm glad that, that they're using you in this because I was just only dreaming. When I seen you drafted, I'm like, they got to use this guy in the jet sweep because I seen all of your college film. I'm like, they got to at least be have hit this guy be a decoy or run the ball a few times a game. And they're already doing it. That's why I have so much faith in my coaching staff. Because a lot of shit I was thinking, as soon as I seen Christian Watson's highlights, I'm like, we got to use them in this way. They're already doing it. Shout out to the coaching staff. Hey, you only got three touches. I think nine yards or something like that. But the time you did touch the ball one time, you got a first down. Hey, first downs are very important, man. It's the difference of giving the ball away or keeping the ball. So you got to give Christian Watson credit on getting that first down. So we can continue on the drive to get some points, whether it's a field goal or a motherfucking touchdown. So, I just love that he's constantly in motion because it can either go to him and he can run on the outside or he can go to three other people. Sammy Watkins caught a catch. A.J. Dillon got a first down. And Aaron Jones had one of the longest runs in the game off of a fake Jet sweep to Christian Watson. So, hey, Christian Watson, I'm done with you, bro. That's what's up. Continue to get better. You only had three times to actually touch the ball. I hope you get to touch it more, but at least you're touching it. Amari Rodgers only got in for one fucking play, and that was it. So, he's in his second year. He knows his offense. For you to be already getting in there and, and, and getting more snaps than this guy, take heed to that, bro improve okay so romeo same thing with christian romeo how art thou romeo bro south la kid hey i love you dog you know but i'm always gonna be hard on you because you from around here bro and you know how shit go down around here you know how i go down around here so um two catches only but one fucking catch what second and 28 you go out there and get a little screen a little pedestrian catch or whatever but you take that shit 20 yards so that turned into a second and 28, a situation where we was like, you know what? We're going to get a field goal. Shit fucked up. Let's just do the second down play to get six or seven yards. So we got our third down play to get us in position to kick a field goal. Hell no. Nah. You went out there, caught a little pass, and took that shit 28 yards. That showed heart. That showed determination to keep that shit up, young fella. Only two times you touched the ball. But, hey, one of the times you made a big fucking impact. The coaches will see that on film. They can't deny it. They're going to involve you more. Keep doing the fuck you doing, Romeo, okay? So that set up a touchdown. That 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 second and 28 came from us from predicting to, you know what, we're going to get a field goal this time to scoring because you had the determination to go out there, run after catch, and get that shit. So congratulations to you, Romeo. You will be getting the ball more. They will be game planning and certain shit around you. You got to have live snaps. You got to put shit on tape. So when these coaches see that shit, say, hey, Romeo got open on that play. We need to go there again, you know? So continue to do what you're doing, little bro. Start, you know, continue to work hard. So uh, that's all I got on the rookies, y'all. That's all I motherfucking got. And, um, you know, again, nobody else played. There was no Zach Tom, you know? He wasn't in position to do so. You know, we didn't need it. Elvin was back, you know, but that's all on a whole nother video. But that's what I got on the rookies, y'all. So, uh, again, man. Hey, the, the draft class continues to look like they're improving and they get stronger. And some guys didn't even play. So they still have time to improve. Hey, Devontae Wyatt, JJ, hey, continue to go out there and work hard. You didn't get in. You probably thought you was because you got in on the first game. But it don't always work out like that. But what did we get? We got the W, y'all. So, hey, Rooks, keep it up.